how to build an automated farm plot collector so i already got the floor set up it's a bunch of conveyors connected to the irrigation system so what i'm gonna do first is put in the farm plot and all we need is a three by three i'm gonna do a couple of sets and i'm gonna put the farm plots all around like this in the middle I'm gonna place an advanced rotor. Got a box here. Uh, let's just drop everything else. Because the advanced rotor has a connector. Uh, I don't think I picked it up. There you go. The advanced rotor has a connector underneath and on top on the rotor part. So I'm gonna plank it right in the middle here. There we go. After that, I'm going to attach the tube going up. I got windows here. They're on the outside, but it doesn't let me put a junction there. So I'm going to put another tube coming down. I actually have it there. And then a collector. Like that. There you go. So let's just build it up. So let's see the it's empty. Eight of those. All those things. There you go so this is the setup now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lower the rotor all the way down and choose the control panel and rotor displacement i'm gonna pull it all the way down and i'm also gonna give it the velocity of one so it's pretty much gonna keep rotating at this constant speed and this is gonna work even on these corners so now i'm gonna have to plant first so let's put some grain in here. Unfortunately, I don't think this works for planting, it's just for harvesting, but it does allow us to pick up the crops when they reach 100%. So we don't lose them. So now it's gonna take some time. It has water. This room is pressurized. I'm in Pertum. So let's just wait for this to be done. The crops are still growing, but let's say that we want to maximize the space. We can actually put another set like this just up against this system. So let's just put the farm plots around on a 3x3, three three. then the road in the middle. Okay, the zero is here, so it's a little easier. Do the same thing. there okay let's build it up Pretty much all we gotta do is set the same rotation for both rotors so that the collectors don't interfere with each other because they occupy a full block so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tell that rotor let me just see which angle it is so zero is here so it's 360. let's go to rotor i guess that's yeah that's the one rotating so let's tell it to go to 360 and stop once it reaches here, it should stop. So it's in the same position as this one, so that when they rotate, they're not going to collide. Okay. 
And on my own farm, I'm going to have to do something about the walls, of course. I don't have enough room to put another set here. I'm going to block the door. So it stopped there in the same position. So now we go to the control panel. We select both rotors. And we just right click here. And it sets it to unlimited. Ah, but I didn't set the, the speed for the other one. So let's do it again. I'm going to sell at 360 to stop. And I'm going to give 1 RPM to this one. And make it stop on 360. Okay. Same settings. Are they going to hit? Oh boy. Uh, oh nice. That's a strong rotor right there. Beautifully done. Yeah. I messed it up. But the idea is so that this doesn't happen. Although the rotor is pretty strong. I forgot to lower this one too. So rotor displacement. I feel like this should help to make sure that it does harvest. But that one has reached 360. This one is about to reach it. So let's go to rotor. Select them both. They stopped, so now I'm just going to right click here. Which sets it to the default unlimited. So now they're rotating at the same speed and the same angle. So they're never going to collide. Okay, so the crops are at 95%. They're almost done. And the cool thing about this is that it only harvests when it reaches 100. So... Should be able to see it turning yellow. I didn't plant on this one because I'm gonna have to change a lot of things on this farm. Almost all at a hundred. And we don't have to have it this way, like rotating. It could be stationary. But the important thing is it has to be on a subgrid. So we have to use a rotor or a hinge or a piston to collect and harvest the plots. If it was connected with a conveyor, it would not work. It has to be on a subgrid. And almost done. And of course this looks cooler, having it rotating, and it saves some resources. I hope it doesn't hit. Instead of having eight collectors, just one does the job. So, it's almost done. These two are the ones that are most ahead. Let's just see it in action. There you go. This one is yellow. That one is yellow. Off he goes. And let's see the box. There you go. It actually showing up here. Two, four. Sometimes it goes into the food processor. I don't have a sorter. But there we go. Six. And it's going to collect them all as he goes through. So the cool thing about this is that we have to harvest this as soon as they're ready. If, we, if it takes too long, they're going to spoil. So we don't have to be here to harvest the crops, which is really handy. So, good thing to keep in mind. A nice 3x3 three three for this system. But, as I mentioned before, we can use pistons. We can use hinges. Something to turn this into a subgrid. So, they have it. This is how to build an automated farm plot harvester. Using a very simple system.